Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. Embracing prayerfully the risks associated with taking the gospel to the ends of the earth. And it has always been dangerous, as we read in Acts 13, to take the gospel to the world, to the nation. So incredible opposition. Um, if you read Acts 13 to 14, and of course, all throughout the book of Acts, but in particular, from the point they sent them out to their first trip, there was tons of risk. There was suffering. There was um, jealous religious leaders who were bringing opposition, persecution. Eventually, it led to martyrdom. Yes. And that hasn't changed today. Danger is an occupational hazard of taking the gospel to the ends of the earth. Yeah. So we need to prayerfully, not foolishly, but prayerfully embrace these risks associated with doing radical gospel ministry. And churches that are unwilling to move towards danger for the sake of the gospel are not going to be useful among the unreached because that's what it requires. Well, they're not going to be useful among the unreached because of a statement either accredited to Hudson Taylor, and I think Elizabeth Elliot often referred to his statement, without the element of risk, there is no need for faith. And so you don't That's need right. faith. You don't need to step out into arenas uh, if you know where your step is going to fall. Oftentimes, if you go into the darkness where the light shines the best and the steps are precarious and you don't know where your next step will fall, that's the time in that risky space where you need absolute reliance on the Holy Spirit's leading and guiding God's omnipotence to go before you and to open up doors where you thought were impossible because they are impossible uh, in the eyes of men, but not in the eyes of God. That's absolutely right. Absolutely correct. David Livingston, I think it was David Livingston. We get all these missionary quotes mixed up yeah, here, right? Yeah, yeah. But he said, um, he said, if, if there's men that will only come if they're roads, I don't want them. I want men who will come if there's no roads at all. I love that. And we have to have that type of pioneering spirit that says we're willing to suffer even the loss of life because Christ is worth it. You know, they can take our lives, but they can't take our place in heaven. And, you know, this is not hyperbole. I'm not trying to, you know, stir things up. The Great Commission will not be fulfilled without martyrs. Yeah. Um, these places that need the gospel the most are the places that are most hostile. I, it's not going to be easy to reach them. Sure. And uh, we have to be willing to lay down our sons and daughters on the altar and say, you know, Jesus is worth it. Yeah. But that is so countercultural. That this is a piece, David, that is just not a part of our culture. We sure. do not like risk, and yet we take risks every day for ourselves. Yes. And yet we fail to take the risks associated with, you know, taking the gospel to others. So it, it's kind of a tragic irony in a lot of ways because we don't do missions because we don't want it to cost us our safety. Here's the problem. Um, when we have that mentality, we're, we're falsely thinking we're preserving safety. We're not. It doesn't exist. Safety is not real. Right? Yeah. It's an illusion in this world. So, again, we move towards risks for us, but not for the sake of the nations. And this is something we have to work through. I, I really believe this. This is, again, the toughest one in these keys. But churches that want to embrace the mission of God. They have a biblical definition of missions. They want to send their own. They want to do it church-wide. All, all these pieces we've talked about here, they must develop a theology of risk, hmm, yeah. a theology of suffering. And that, that doesn't preach really well in our culture, as you can imagine, sure, David. Sure. Not, not in a lot of cultures, but especially here. I mean, that's not going to draw the crowds on Sunday morning, right? Yeah, that, that's not the hot topic. Um, but uh, you're you're right. It's absolutely essential. I, I love that you bring that out. And it immediately reminds me of the story of uh, Nick Ripkin shares in The Insanity of God. Is Jesus Worth It is a major theme of that book. Uh, if you haven't read that, by the way, I'd encourage you to check out The Insanity of God by Nick Ripkin. Um, it uh, I, I tell that story in my book, and it's a constant struggle. Uh, but we have to realize that, yeah, you're right. That's not a promise from God. A promise from Jesus, what is that? Um, they will persecute you because they persecuted me. They will hate you because they hated me. Um, so, wow, those are difficult words. But you want to see the potential, missions potential in your church. You got to step out beyond, beyond the boundaries that you've ever gone before. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart. Join His mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.